the question has always been, how did you guys get started in the wildlife industry? Well, the wildlife industry uh, came about uh, because my brothers and I, we love to hunt. My kids love to hunt. Uh, we have about 2,500 acres here at the ranch, uh, maybe a little more, and we have cattle, and we raise cattle, we raise horses, uh, raise kids. But I never really got into deer hunting. Uh, as a kid, you know, I shot maybe, I shot a, killed a doe one time and, uh, when I was a kid, and, uh, and my brothers always hunted, but never really got into it. Plus, we didn't have a lot of big deer. But when we started doing Prefert Backwoods Bloodline and the Prefert's, uh, I really enjoyed being outside uh, deer hunting. So I decided myself, uh, somewhere in the last three years, let's start raising some deer. Uh, not high fence deer, but just, you know, with what deer here, let's improve the genetics, let's grow some deer so that we can enjoy and have fun. But how we got started and all that is Mike Ford, uh, he owns the Rio Rojo Rancho. Uh, he has his place and uh, uh, he raises uh, some of the best whitetail genetics and deer uh, in Texas. I got to know him somewhere at a livestock show in Vegas at the rodeo, but he just lives at a, an hour down the road from us, our north. He was building a chute, a system, uh, a handling system so that he could worm and vaccinate his deer that he had that he would resell uh, the semen or the, the deer themselves. I went up and visited him and uh, looked at his equipment and his chute and said, you know what, this is something we can build. So we just uh, put our own finishing touches to his chute and his system, uh, made it uh, manufacturable, uh, getting it through the system easily and powder coated and everything else. Well, over time, listening to Mike and me hunting in different places around the nation, he had said, you know, one of these days you guys need to make a feeder. I'm like, well, everybody, you know, there's a lot of feeders out there. There's thousands of variations, there's lots of people doing it, um, and everybody's doing it well. Why get into something that, uh, that's that, that hard to compete in with that many people doing it? But he told me some of the problems he had. He, he wanted a feeder that he could feed does, fawns, and bucks, all three in the same feeder. He also wanted to be able to move it around easily with a four-wheeler or with a, with a, a Polaris Ranger or a mule or a pickup. He wanted, uh, he wanted it trough style so that uh, uh, the deer could get big mouthfuls and if they drop a little bit, it falls right back into the pan. But he also wanted to feed really good protein feed and did not want it getting wet because of the waste. So he gave me all these specifications for what he wanted and we came up with the ADF 1000. So that's kind of how we got into the wildlife side. Uh, me personally, I have a lot of passion for the wildlife side. I've really gotten into it. My hobby is the food plots, setting up deer stands, uh, setting up the feeders, feeding feed, and, and driving around in the mule with the boys and my wife and running around the ranch and just enjoying the outside and, and uh, growing something and, and seeing what we can, uh, seeing what I can develop out of the resources that we have.